Hey guys, Amp here bringing you another Affinity Designer tutorial, and in this tutorial we'll be going over the Stroke Panel. Now the Stroke Panel allows you to customize lines, curves, and outlines of selected objects, as well as modify Stroke's thickness, how it scales, and where it's positioned relative to objects. Now over here is the Stroke Panel, and to demonstrate the Stroke Panel we're going to come over to the Toolbar and select the Pencil Tool. You can also select N on your keyboard for a shortcut, and we're going to come over here, and now I have the pencil tool. So we're going to bring up the width a little bit so you can see the line and we're just going to create a little bit of a, a scribble. And here's my scribble right here and we're going to come over to the stroke panel to see how we can edit this. So right now the style is a solid line style and you can choose from these four styles. Now there's a no line style, solid line, dashed line which brings you to the dashed and you can edit how many dashes you want and how they want it. There's another video on my channel for that. And if you come over here, there's the textured line style. And the, uh, But just below that is changing the width, as you can see. And right here, we're going to bring the line over here, just so we can see it. I mean, a little big. But we're going to come over and bring it here. And we're going to check out caps. So right now it is on a round cap. But we can come over here and have a butt cap and a square cap. Uh, as well as how lines join. If you had multiple lines with uh, angles that you want to join, uh, there's multiple ways you can have it. You can have it with a bevel join, a midter join, and a round join. As well as aligning things with a line stroke to the inside, a line stroke to the outside, and a line stroke to the center. Now, down here... Uh, is a very interesting thing. It is the pressure, where you can change how hard the brush is pushing at each instant of your line. And you can always bring this down and reset it at any time if you change your mind. It's something fun to play around with and see all these cool things you can make. And you can even save the profile for later. You can also have it scale with your object or draw behind a fill layer. And uh, that is all for the stroke panel. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo tutorials. Uh, there is a new design out on my Redbubble page. Uh, it's just where I post some graphic art that I make. Uh, if you like that kind of stuff, check it out. Link's in the description below. And uh, thanks for watching.